Hello everyone. In this video, I'll talk about multi-class object detection on point cloud data using a deep neural network. We'll use the point pillar network, which can detect objects in the point cloud and fit oriented bounding boxes around them. Before starting, please note that we were using a font view point cloud rather than a full view point cloud in this demo. This has two benefits. First, it results in faster training and execution. Second, the network performance is better in terms of average orientation, similarity, and precision. Let's start by loading point cloud data and corresponding labels. We'll also create data stores to manage our data. We'll create a file data store to load the PCV files from the specified path using the PC read function. Similarly, we'll use a box labeled data store for ground truth labels. Now we're ready for the second step. Here we'll pre-process the data to get it ready for training. The first step is to split the data into training and testing sets. And then we'll perform ground truth data augmentation. Here we are using 70% of the data for training and the rest for testing. One thing to note here is that we're using a very small data set with very few frames to give you an idea about the workflow. For a better result, you'll need to train the network on a larger data set. Now we'll perform ground truth data augmentation, which will randomly add a fixed number of car class objects to every point cloud. This technique will help to improve the network accuracy during training by synthetically increasing the size of the training data set. In addition to this, you can use augmentation techniques such as flipping, scaling, rotation, and translation. Here is our output for step two. In the third step, we'll define the point pillars network to train the data we have prepared in step two. The point pillar network is a neural network which can detect objects in the point cloud and fit bounding boxes around them. To define the network, we'll first define the network parameters like anchor boxes, number of pillars, number of points per pillar, etc. We'll then use the point pillar object detection function to create a point pillar object detection network. Once we've defined the network, we can move on to step four, which is to train the model on the training data set. Training is the most time consuming step in a deep learning workflow. An alternative is to use a pre-trained model to detect objects in the point cloud. To train the model, Specify new training as true, and then define the training options. We'll then use the train point pillar object detector function to train the network with the training data set. Here, we're going with the second option of loading a pre-trained point pillars model. In the final step, we'll test our network on the test data. We'll use the detect function to apply the point cloud object detector on the test data set. Here's our final output. The green bounding boxes represent cars in the output point cloud. The freight train network we have used was also trained to detect trucks in the point cloud. If there were trucks in the test data, they would have been detected and represented by a purple bounding box.